Hello, my lovely Deutsch Happen learners. This is Kirsten, and uh, I have a new lesson for you. A lesson not only designed for intermediate or even advanced learners, like maybe the last ones were, but a lesson for everybody. So, uh, very basic. Today we are going to speak about die Grundrechenarten. So, as you can see, a feminine word. And Grundrechenarten means basic arithmetic problems. And, well, obviously, I'm not going to teach you math today. Uh, so we are still a German course here. Um, I believe many other people can uh, could do this ba way better than I can. But I want to uh, teach you or tell you a little bit how to uh, pronounce Uh, and how to speak about those uh, basic arithmetic problems in German today, as this may differ from, well, your mother tongues and also from English in some aspects. And uh, today we are going to deal with um, Subtraktion, so also a feminine word, die Subtraktion. So how to subtract, obviously. If you want to uh, say this in German, it's also particularly in elementary school referred to as minus rechnen. So let me write this for you. Minus rechnen. And this is then neutral. So we would say das minus rechnen, but die Subtraktion. How can we see, uh, how can we define Subtraktion? In German, basically, you could sum this up as man zieht eine Zahl von einer anderen Zahl ab. And in English, once again, as this may also be interesting for beginners, so we subtract one number from another number or figure, if you want. Um, Here we already see an important word uh, when dealing with uh, subtraction. This is the verb here conjugated, zieht, and up. I suppose that you all know the, the word zahl, so number, and sometimes also referred to as figure, depending on what situation you are in. But I think far more interesting for this lesson is the verb I put the infinitive down here, abziehen, to subtract, subtract, sorry, or uh, when we use nominalization, so substantivierung, you can also say uh, then again neutral, das, abziehen. Okay. Now, another important word is, of course, to learn minus zeichen. Minus zeichen, which simply is the sign for subtraction or how to subtract. Now, if we go uh, into a uh, simple problem. Uh, in German we write a problem to subtract, subtract usually like this and then the result. And let me give you uh, the words how um, they are called. So D5 or the number 5 here is referred to as Minus end, masculine, der minus end, or ein minus end. I want to subtract the two, that's why the two is subtrahend, der subtrahend, so also masculine. And my, D, my, my result, so the 3, number 3, 
is short version die Differenz. Feminine, die Differenz. Or very correctly, I should say it's the Wert der Differenz. Okay. Now, let's put this a little bit more naturally. Um, and let's put a another simple problem here. So, uh, mm -hmm. okay, I think uh, that's not uh, such a big deal. But let me actually say or tell you how we pronounce this. So I would say first number five. Then we have the uh, subtraction. Minus. So that's how I, how I say it. Uh, I don't say uh, subtrahiert or uh, abgezogen. We in elementary school and also later on, we always say minus. So fünf minus. Oop, what happened? Okay, we are back. Fünf minus. Zwei ist gleich so uh, fünf minus zwei ist gleich drei. The other way around. Zwei minus fünf. Zwei minus fünf ist gleich minus drei. Okay, that's uh, the first video. Um, in a little series about basic arithmetic problems. I hope you enjoyed that and you learned some new words um, on how to actually, uh, well, tell or, or say the subtraction in German. And, uh, well, for more suggestions, what uh, other lessons you might want to see, Just write me or um, comment on Facebook or on the Deutsch Happen blog. And then as always, see you next time. Take care, everyone. Tschüss. Bye-bye.